welcome to reading lesson 20. Let's go ahead and get started. You are on reading page 20, an unlikely catch. So this is the page that you should have out and ready to go. Let's start with the first paragraph. When you go fishing, I'm sure you hope for the biggest fish you can catch. But when the blue whale goes fishing, his dinner of choice is considerably smaller. Okay, let's stop there and talk through that paragraph. So when you go fishing, cuando usted va a pescar, I'm sure you hope for the biggest fish you can catch. So to catch, that's to, to atrapar, to capturar. So when you're, when you're going to, to pescar, when you capturar your fish, you catch your fish. But when the blue whale, so this is a ballena que azul, um, when it goes fishing, when it's pescando for its dinner, its cena, his dinner of choice, so its favorito cena, is considerably más pequeño. Considerably, that word in Spanish is considerablemente, considerablemente. So it's very similar in Espanol. So let's keep reading to find out what the dinner of a blue whale would be. The blue whale is considered the largest animal on earth and can be up to 100 feet long. That's about as long as three school buses. Now, if you've ever seen a school bus, a school bus is más grande than the buses we have for the iglesia. It's bigger than that, so three of those, tres de esos grande buses. It weighs about 100 to 150 tons. Remember, a ton is 2,000 pounds. So this is about 200,000 to 300,000 pounds. That's heavy. In fact, just its heart is the size of a small car. What? Okay, let's look at one word in there. We had the word considered. The blue whale is considered the largest animal on earth. So that word considered, that's to considerar. So it's when you pensar de, de algo, you considerar. So it's la, la gente considerar, pensar que ese blue whale is the largest animal, the animal más grande en toda la tierra. La tierra. That's a big animal, right? Would you want to be swimming and meet up with one? I don't think I would. I think I'd be a little nervous. But let's see. Would it eat you? Let's find out what its dinner is like. Yet this monstrous creature, this criatura monstruoso, loves to eat krill. Krill are small shrimp-like creatures that are no larger than just three inches. Just as you might think, it takes a lot of krill to fill a belly as big as the blue whale's belly. Belly is your estomago. He has to eat two to four tons of krill each day. Cada día necesita comer two to four tons. That's 4,000 to 8,000 pounds of krill. Now it's interesting that krill are shrimp-like creatures because in Spanish, there's the word krill for krill. There's also the name Camarón de Antártico. So it's like the shrimp of the north. So they're very, very tiny, just about three inches compared to the blue whale. You can see the comparison on your page. Little krill, big blue whale. Let's finish up our section. God is very creative to have made an animal so large with such an interesting diet. So we can see the creatividad de Dios in, um, in hacer un, un animal que es tan grande pero tiene un, un dieta, un diet, 
un alimentación que es so interesante, es tan pequeño. Okay, flip over your page. So maybe you wouldn't be afraid to come face to face with a blue whale because you know he doesn't want to eat you, he wants to eat krill. I think I would still be scared because he's so big, but maybe you wouldn't. Let's flip over to this side. Your directions say, write one or two facts that are true only of blue whales. So look at this first side, the blue whale. You want to write, so escribir uno or dos cosas que son de verdad solo de los blue whales. Pause your video and write one or two facts. If you need to, go back and look in here something that is true only about the blue whale. Okay, then it says, write one or two facts that are true only of krill. So escribir uno or dos cosas que son verdad solo de los krill. You'll write that here under krill. Pause your video now, find one or two things and write it there. Okay, and lastly, last of all, write one or two facts that are true of both. So, finalmente, escribir uno or dos cosas que son la verdad de ambas. Okay, so where it says both. Something that's true of both of them. For example, maybe, you know, they both live in the sea, things like that. We call this a Venn diagram. We use it to compare things. So here in this circle are all the things for blue whales. Here are all the things about krill and where the two circles intersect are the things that are true about both. So write those in there. Make sure you use complete sentences with a mayuscula and a punto and color your picture. That's all for today. Have a wonderful day. Love you guys very much. Bye.